Hey guys, welcome back to a really weird video, I guess. Uh, I got the tablet working. You can see it on the screen right now. This is its own screen. And um, I want to show you what I used to get it working real quick here. Yeah, that actually worked good. So this is uh, the open tablet driver. And that right there is the name of my tablet, as you can see. I had to right click this to be able to uh, a lot to set to display. So I set it to this one. It's a 1080p display. And now we're here. So uh, I can actually put that down. And I don't know, currently I'm failing at drawing noses. Now I want to show you how I have this thing mounted real quick. Where is it? Hello? Where are you? It's right here. You're not... There it is. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's right here. Okay. And, uh... I repurposed an old iPhone holding thing that someone sent me a while ago to do a review on that I did. This is a... This was actually a really good stand. It's not meant for this. It's not... It's not able to hold this up, but it does. Uh, and I guess that... That's pretty good. That matters, right? Like... If it's able to multitask, that's pretty good. Now, I guess if I need it to, I could also use this, right? Because this, this, no, I don't think I could use that. Maybe, I don't know, maybe. That's for recording videos about unboxings and stuff, so let me get in here here. I've been trying to relearn things, and the nose is a bit difficult for me. And uh, I've always had trouble with noses. Like, there's there's so many different ways that a person can draw a nose, alright? There's so many different techniques, and it's always bugged me. And, uh, like, this one technique I'm looking at where they basically draw a penis first and then they turn it into a nose, which is funny. I like that. And I get it. It works. But I don't want to draw a dick today on screen, so instead we're going to do this. That is a horrible circle. But... No. Okay, this thing moves too much. Let's try that again. Uh, let's go back here. And it says to do like that, right? That's what it tells me to do. And then it tells me to go like that. It looks like I'm drawing a clown now, but I promise I'm not. This is, this is horrible what I did do though. So I'm going to get rid of it and we're going to try it again. It's the good part about not about using one of these tablets as you're not using paper, I guess. You're not like really wasting any paper, which is nice. Just electricity. So let's draw a circle. Well, that was a much better circle. And down over down. Great. But it does look like a, a frowny clown. Like that. And then all you gotta do is I think I messed that up I think it was supposed to go more in like this if you can see what I'm talking about so let's actually try to do that again I love how dynamic this thing is now I just wanted to give you guys another video here All right and then it just and it just talks in kind of like that but that's more of a side nose than anything. But I'm not... The problem is I'm not doing the tucking in part. You know? I'm not coming around and actually tucking in. Which I need to do. Because then afterwards I, I need to get rid of this, right? So it's like, you're not needed no more. And it's supposed to end up looking like a nose. But unfortunately, uh, it doesn't. Because this point right here... I erased it. You, you saw what I did. Yeah. Okay. Let's try this again. Like that. No. See? I'm getting it wrong. I'm not used to... 
dealing with pressure points anymore. My hands are trained for a mouse and keyboard, which takes away a lot of skill that I used to have when I was in high school. And as a kid, I used to draw all the time. I got really good at drawing Goku, which was nice. And I drew Avril Lavigne. Uh, she looks lifelike, and I passed. I got like an A+. Plus. That was great. I loved that. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's draw this. Okay. I'm going to draw this. I'm going to draw this. Okay. That's nose-like. It's too wide, but it's still nose-like. Great. So then I can just... I could fill that in. Here we go. We have a nose. A really bad nose, but a nose nonetheless, because it's a really, really wide nose. Okay? That's a really, really wide nose. Hmm. So, I don't really want to draw a wide nose, and I see what they're trying to teach me here. Let's try the second technique, okay? Oof, I messed that up really bad. Let's try that again. So it tells me to do this, but I need to make the bottom a little more pointy. So I have to try again. Getting these techniques down is going to be hard. Like that. And then it tells me to shape off this part right here so it tells me to go about right here and right down the center there should be like a line to make around to right and this should actually flow into here but it's not so that's my fault let's get rid of that so i'm going too wide on my margins which is a problem so let me fix this so I need to take that, come around like this. That does not look like a nose. It does not look like a nose at all. Hmm. I think it needs to be more in the center. I'm trying my best. Again, it's been a while. I think all the memory that I had is gone. out of my hands. You know? That's kind of nose-like, actually, so if I actually go and fill this in... No, I messed it up. <laughs> I messed it up. It would actually need to go to here instead of out. Uh... Yeah. No, that's a ball sack. So I did a nose nonetheless. That was kind of fun. But the tablet is working very well. Maybe I need to adjust the sensitivity and stuff like that uh, to really make it work. But just happy to have one, you know? I'm clicking down the pen thing, so it's like no pressure. So now it's completely like that. It's kind of interesting. There we go. All right. Um, before I go, I want to show you where the configuration goes in case you have one of these tablets and you're trying to set it up. This is not a guide or anything, but I just want to kind of show you where to go. So you're going to open up your file manager. You're going to go to dot local share. You're going to create a folder called open tablet driver. It needs to be capital O and then capital tablet and then capital driver. And inside you're going to create a folder called configurations. And inside you're going to find, you're going to have to create a dot JSON. And basically this is the information that goes within it. Okay. 
And uh, I believe this is hexadecimal. I'm not really sure, but I used AI to try to figure out how this needed to be because there was already information and stuff out there on how to get everything done. And I was kind of just like focusing on all that. Uh, also, this is needed for Wayland. This is a must. Anyway, um, I'm on Gnome again. I couldn't take any more of the bugs with KDE. It's been driving me nuts for a little while. It constantly breaks on and off. So if you're wondering, we're on Gnome. It's nice. Uh, and I'll, I guess I'll show you. Just so you guys can see. There you go. Transforms. There we go. And there it is. Welcome back to Gnome. So, yeah, this is Gnome 49, uh, which is going into RC, I believe. I'll see you guys next time, okay?